Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the week of April 5th, the week of, <laughs> tongue tied here, for the week of April 5th through the 11th, let's tap into your energy for the week. What is going on with you guys? Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate your support so much. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're making some changes. If you have not caught your general reading, I will link it here. And if you haven't caught your love life reading, I will also link it here. This is for the month of April. And I'll link it at the bottom. I'm sorry, at the end of the reading. Sorry, I'm really trying to get through all these readings. I'm a bit behind. Okay, so you, you finally came to a realization. I've got to make changes. The way I've been living my life has not been for the best. I really feel, and if you if you have if you have not caught your love life reading, I'll you know definitely catch that because I feel that you may have gone through some like wake up call, uh, awakening type of energy of things that just came to the forefront that just kind of slapped you in the face. Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? It's time for you to really get it together, you know. And that really brought about the energy of trying to. Uh, this week, I feel like you're starting to go through the changes, going through the motions of really trying to figure out what the next step of your life should be, changes you need to make for yourself. I'm also hearing karmic karmic justice for you in terms of, you know, you've, you've gotten to the end of your karmic circle. So now your karmic cycle. Why am I so... Something's going on with you guys. I feel like definitely... Give me a sec. I had to ground my energy. I feel like this very rambunctious energy from you guys. So I don't know if that's something that you were called. Like you were, you were, you always heard that you were very rambunctious as a child, that type of energy. That's not really a word I use. So that means something to somebody. So I feel that you're like this big ball of energy. Something happened to you that really just got you to redirect that type of energy that was going downhill, going nowhere. You were making really poor decisions. You were drinking. You were just out partying, um, just kind of blowing money is what I felt as well, and just making poor life choices. That's just what I'm going to chalk it up to. I don't want to get into too much detail and air out your dirty laundry out there. Whoops. So, so sorry, you guys, my mic here. So some of you definitely, you know, it's, it's done. It's time. Uh, if you're waiting to hear about buying a house, moving into a new house, getting your own place, I feel like you're going to get the answers of what the next step is or whether or not you get it this week. It may linger on into the next week if you haven't already heard already. I feel some of you are trying to upgrade your home. So I also see like renovations, remodeling projects, um, I'm also seeing some of you may may have a roommate, somebody that lives with you, uh, that they're not really pulling in their weight. So just keep an eye on that. Others of you, I feel like you something definitely happened to some of you that has caused you to reflect on how you're living your life and how you want to move forward. Because clearly what had been working in the past has not been working out for you, okay? Sorry, I know I started off this reading pretty jumbled up. I just felt like a lot of chaotic energy and that was what was in your April love reading. So I'm still feeling that type of energy lingering into this week. Take the time to really reassess everything, reevaluate your life, what areas of your life you'd like to improve on, what areas of your life you feel like you're fine on, but definitely do a visual check as well. Like, am I in the right place at the right time? You know, have I wasted my time? Have I, you know, taken inspired actions towards the life I want? Especially if you're in a marriage partnership union. Some of you, you know, are thinking of getting married, thinking of moving in together with a partnership. I, I see a party here. <laughs> I see union. I see very love-centric here. So some of you maybe you know, elope just so the peace it's happening for you this weekend if it didn't already happen the weekend before because I'm recording it right before Easter weekend. So first two weeks of April, some of you are getting married if you haven't already. I feel like it's kind of an informal ceremony. It doesn't feel like a big, 
big wedding ceremony like religious or anything like that it just feels like it's an informal let's cut to the chase let's get you know let's do this and then you have a huge party however a part of you is still kind of in that second guessing your decision of doing this sorry i had to drink water my throat was feeling dry some of you are you know second guessing whether or not you should be doing this Listen, <laughs> if this doesn't say marriage, partnership, moving in together, right? <laughs> Some of you are celebrating your vows. Some of you are renewing your vows. Some of you are just having a housewarming party because, hey, you and your partner finally did it. You bought a house. Congratulations. You know what that means? That means you have elevated your life. You've graduated into a new chapter of your life. Adulting, it's beautiful when you feel like you finally got, got it together, when you feel like you did all the right things. You know that is absolutely important for you guys. I feel like you get a second chance at life. Some of you, mm -hmm, look at that, have been focusing on all the wrong things, all the pain from the past, all the past mistakes. That is where your focus has been for quite a long time. It's time to let that go. You have new beginnings on the horizon. And if not, it's those new beginnings have already happened for you. You know, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. Oh my God. What is the energy wisdom of the Oracle? Yeah. The card of imagine. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. A lot of blues here the card of imagine and to the sea so some of you know that you had to make these difficult decisions these difficult changes maybe you forward and move forward in a specific partnership but you had hoped it was in a different partnership maybe you make these life-changing decisions to start a family you know buy a home get married with someone but you had in your mind and your heart you had always felt that maybe it was with a different partner I don't feel the energies of settling. I feel that there's still a little bit of part of you that's still kind of mourning the loss of an old relationship, an old partnership. And that's okay, Scorpio. That's normal. You know, uh, within time, you'll realize that you're at the right place at the right time, that you're with the right partner, the right person, the right situation. Because even if it doesn't feel right at the at the moment or in the long run there is a lesson for you to walk away with okay so take the time to really imagine just how beautiful just you know that daydream energy of the new energies the new partnerships the new goals the new changes all the new projects coming into your life and the to the sea card is kind of like the six of swords energy where things start calming down it's i'm also hearing travel for you guys and i want to say that that also came out in your uh love reading some of you may actually travel to tie to try to tie it up loose ends especially if you have to travel to see someone for a divorce uh, that type of energy but it, it's time for you to just be honest with yourself it's okay to admit the truth to yourself i also feel that if you don't admit the truth in a specific situation when confronted with something it's going to backfire that's very important for you to know always be open and honest about specific situations especially when you're in a very uh, intimate partnership you know you don't want to start off your marriage your partnership moving in together on the wrong foot especially because well people people move in this energy in this direction with you know the optimism of this is my end all be all okay so Scorpio that is your weekly energy have a wonderful week I'm linking here your general reading for April as well as your love life reading and the weeklies playlist so check those out Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care. Bye.